Welcome back to another game of Beyond All Reason. Today we're doing something different and we're actually starting 53 minutes into a game. Which doesn't happen often because most games are done by then. We're starting here with the end of a little bit of terraforming, which I did. As you can see now, both of the C's are connected because my teammates wanted that because they had uh, domination of both sides. The enemy team had a whole bunch of atomic bombers, so I decided to use my massive amount of uh, workers to start making some anti-air near the front lines to help those titans. The birdshot is great, but it doesn't have very much range. So you have to make them quite close. I have 52 uh, tier 2 construction workers there, so it makes them quite fast. Also making uh, ground defense. I'm the ego player in this game, so pretty much this building defenses right now. That was way too many uh, metal converters there. Putting some more anti nukes because I know they have quite a lot of nukes. Putting up lots of bulwarks since I have a lot of energy income. They're great at defense. Since I terraformed the middle there to connect the two oceans, only ambiguous units can get through there. Including hovercraft and certain types of tanks and tier 3 units. Only certain types of tier 3 units. And I'm joining 103 construction bots together for faster building speed. You really have to be careful when they're together like this though, because if they uh, any fighters or anything hit those units, they'll all go down together. They'll chain react and they'll lose all 100 of them very easily. That's why I always make uh, some bird shots, anti-airs around them first, just to protect them. And don't send them too close to the front. Trying to get some nukes through here, but they have a lot of anti-nukes as well. I only have one nuke to use. I did get one off early in the game on uh, light pink there. I hit his base and destroyed it about 50 minutes into the game. So that helped our uh, front recover. Queuing up a lot of bulwarks and anti air because we'll need both of them. I like to learn a lot of my hockeys, but when I'm in like a more uh, stressful situation, I find myself clicking a lot more because I don't have time. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I could just disable me clicking and then that would make me learn pretty fast. But I need it to move around the map, so I can't do that.
Light green is just getting overwhelmed there in the ocean by red. There isn't much I can build for him except for some anti-air and some bulwarks near the shoreline. Grabbing all these mexes for extra metal income since they were lost. At this point I have a group you can see there on the bottom middle of 154 workers doing my uh, construction and another 103 building my uh, towers. Oh, and there's a sneaky push from, uh, I don't know what color that is, beige. <laughs> so I'm quickly getting all my construction workers together to build uh, bulwarks there to help defend it. And I was streaming this on Twitch and someone reminded me, why aren't you just nuking them? So I did that. But I'm doing both things actually. Obviously you only want to nuke them if you know that where you're nuking won't destroy your allies base, but it was already gone anyway. Look how fast we can put up a bulwark pretty fast with 259 workers. I just have to be careful they don't get hit and chain react and all die at once. Pretty sure uh, Green would have been killed here without these bulwarks, that's for sure. So we hold off for another day. Or I should say another minute. Look at this massive 
uh, air push from yellow coming in in the middle there on the mini map. I'll show you in a sec here on my screen. Thank goodness I put all those anti air on the front. Look how much it took out. If that would have had been taken out at my base, they would have definitely got some bombs off. That's why you want some uh, bird shots out in the front so they can't even make it to your base. So that was all wiped by all those anti airs. That was awesome. Usually that's how a game ends with a huge push and a big bomb run when you're in this kind of stalemate. comes a mass amount of uh, anti nukes. I decided I need to build a whole bunch more because I noticed more than one being launched from the same uh, from the same uh, anti nuke. And that means I don't have enough. You can build uh, anti nukes way faster and easier than uh, nukes, so you can uh, outbuild them if you just keep it up. Because they're cheaper and faster to build. If you see there, I already had 10 anti-nukes. Not including whatever my allies had yet. And then a whole bunch down here yet. Yeah, I built more than 30 of them overall in this game. Between my base and the teammates' base. Look at that giant titan and juggernaut wall there in the middle. There's a uh, green trying to nuke them, but they also have a whole bunch of anti nukes. But Titan Wall is holding up. Sorry, I don't have it highlighted as much because I was really busy building anti nukes. And since this isn't a replay, it was recorded live.
detected. Nuclear missile launch detected. Nuclear missile launch detected. Overflowing metal. Now I'm trying to build this big wall of uh, bulwarks, but one thing I didn't realize at the time is I should have made way more anti nukes there first because they have so many nuclear launchers they could have just wiped that because there's no anti, not enough anti nukes for that wall to hold. So that was kind of a waste of uh, resources making that big uh, line of laser towers. Teal's trying to do a little sneaky push into the side there. But obviously they have radar and stuff. This is where I realized my mistake. I need a whole bunch of anti nukes, or those will just be wiped out with nukes. Now, look at this mass of anti nukes going off. I paused the video and I counted over 30 of them going off there. And that is why I'm so glad I made so many anti nukes. Look at that. A massive amount of anti nukes there. That is crazy. If you notice too though, I didn't make enough up where uh, green is up there, but luckily they were firing on me. I'm destroying my anti-nukes there. Trying to get those bulwarks up. Pulling my units back because if they get hit with an anti-air unit, I'll lose them all. Firing my own nuke on them. Carefully not destroying my own line of defenses. Didn't take them all out, but it took a good chunk of them out. Enough for my works to do the rest of the work. There's yellow trying to get bombers in again. There was another new hit there too. That was probably from green. Detected. 
Now they're trying to hit uh, teal and blue here, but I built a whole bunch of anti-nukes for them as well. So loud from all those nukes getting hit. Look at that line of titans you can make so fast now. It's insane. It's probably like 50 titans. Well, not that many, but pretty close. Red's trying to do a sneaky push. Good thing there's that one sonar showing us that he's coming. I think one of my teammates was uh, confused here because I wasn't the one making that many fighters. I had a few, but at this point I could make uh, laser towers faster than units. I was going to plan to go to uh, either more nukes to fire at them or tier 3, but I wanted to get the defenses up first because I had a economy that could support it. I guess I probably should have went and helped with some more tier 3 fast, but... I'm using all that metal there to make those defenses, so... There's not much left for tier 3 unless I stop making defenses. I wish Teal kept pushing there because I was coming with my fighters, but I decided not to send them in because he's not going in himself. Just getting overwhelmed with nukes now. Our front there is getting hit where we don't have very many anti nukes.
managed to slip some nukes in there. Which took up part of my line. nuke in my own towers there because I know they won't be able to hold red to push there without it anyway. I'm trying to do a nuke of my own with all my launchers but they also had way too many anti-nukes. Look at how many are going off now. Non-stop those nukes. Anti-nukes are going off. Finally got green there because I realized my mistake. I needed more anti nuke up where he was. So that kind of sucked. As you can see, me frantically making more anti nukes. Building some dragons so they can get rid of this spam of units. Look how many anti nukes I have here, but they eventually get one through. Just one made it, and that's all they needed. So there goes my base. Now, Teal is still pretty strong here, so it's not 100% over yet, even though it was looking like it. Even I said in the game, that's GG. I had to give my uh, laser towers to light green there and my anti nukes because he had enough energy to actually fire them. I didn't because my eco got wiped there. Now we're really running out of time here because of those three juggernauts up top pushing around. Now here I was trying to warn Teal about these juggernauts that he could go degun with his commander. He could make it go invisible and degun those juggernauts in one hit. 
but he wasn't paying attention. I even like pinged him a whole bunch of times, but as you can see there, I just there was two commanders there, and they wouldn't go degun him. What I didn't realize there is Green gave me his commander there, but I couldn't tell through this whole mess what unit he gave me. He should have just went and did it himself. So I'm trying to warn Teal here still. D gun! But no, he didn't. So he loses his whole base, which sucks here because look at the push he had. If he kept his base there and kept making units, I think he could have won. So that's how close this game was. So this is his last hurrah because his base is gone now. I'm thinking we could have won with that, but not not quite sure. We might have still lost. Could have targeted some of the advanced fusions here a little bit better. Especially with those titans, they could have fired their missile at it, but doesn't end up doing that. Look at uh, Light Green with his little side base in the water there coming through. That's why when you lose your base it's good to re um, start rebuilding. Because lots of these people, including uh, Green that was on the top, he rebuilt after getting nuked and he still had a huge base. Look at this, we're 86 minutes in right now. It's a long game. That's why I started this an hour into it because you've been watching this video would have been way too long otherwise. Now we're just getting bombarded by these nukes. Look at this. That is crazy. checking out how many nuke launchers they had there that was a crazy amount so yeah we didn't end up winning there but it was still a really fun game i enjoyed it a lot so thanks again for watching if you liked the video please give it a like and hopefully i can earn your subscription maybe in the future if my videos aren't quite great enough yet and i'll uh, catch you later peace